Hey guys, Ben Simpson here, Ask for some players. I walk your faces back to Starfield. Sit back, go snack, grab a drink. Can you feel most about it? Have fun. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification to keep doing everything here on some players. Check links in the description, of course, for TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and also Simpson Vlogs, SimpsonPlays.com. And of course, my Twitch, Simpson Score Plays 13, where you catch all this gameplay live. Drop a follow there see when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming, of course. Don't forget, you can subscribe to support me financially as a streamer if you wish to. Right then, well, we've got a lot of things to do in Starfield, of course. We've got all these missions to be doing. Um, we've got War Relics, we've got Into the Unknown, Empty Nest, Burden of Proof, Echoes of the... All this sort of stuff to be doing. But in Starfield, as you know, there's the levelling up system. And the levelling up system isn't so simple. So this episode's going to be a short one about a potential way to level up fast. Without using cheats or glitches or anything like that. An actual in-game method to level up. So what you want to do is... You want to go to your star map. I don't believe a star map. Uh, there it is. And you want to find this planet here. Strix 1 in the Strix system. Far over to the right of the map. Like, it is literally, like, if you go all the way over to the right, it's like the last, it's the third to last planet on the right. Star system on the right, sorry. So, just for, like, reference, if you want to go all the way over. How do you, how do you actually move this in bloody map? It's not easy to move, is it? Like, can't lie. So, if you just force your way over, see, if you just keep forcing your way over as it kind of like fights you, does it really want you to come over here? <laughs> oh gosh, you come down and you find Alpha Centauri. That's the, that's the star system, you kind of like main star system you start on. And there's Sol. So, what you want to do is go up slightly, go up, come across, and then you want to go all the way over to the right. Force it, force that joystick over to the right. Keep on the moving, keep on the moving, keep on the moving. Go up slightly, and like I said, third to last star system on the right. Strix, level 70. I'm not level 70. So once you get here, the second thing you want to do is go over to the start settings and then head over to settings, go to gameplay. Set your difficulty to very easy. That'll make things easier here. Because now nothing will really be able to kill you. <laughs> Especially if you're at the point of the game I am. We've got like all these cool weapons. The next thing you want to do is sleep on your ship. So yeah, you want to sleep on your ship. Get that 10% XP bonus. And then you want to get a weapon. You don't want to use bullets. I have Bullets are a finite resource in games like Starfield. Bethesda games like Fallout. They're a finite resource. Okay, like arrows were in Skyrim, you run out of them. Unfortunately, bullets, obviously guns and stuff in a in the game like this, are one of the main sort of ways to kill people. Now, even the energy weapons have energy cells that run out. I don't think that one quite makes as much sense. They should run out in a different sort of way, but hey. Um. Yes, so you want to use a, a melee weapon, something like this. And your first port of call to help you with that is then, as you are progressing through leveling up, you want to... Put as many points into dueling as you can because it makes melee stuff better. Okay. Is there any other melee stuff that you want to put stuff into? No, don't think so. No. So yeah. The next thing you want to do is start killing things. So this blood bath, <laughs> as you can see here, it's especially bad if I go over to over here where I slaughter these things. So. Yeah, these guys also drop some pretty cool stuff. I think they drop aluminium and stuff as well, and chlorine as well. So you get some, some good stuff here. Um, these ones, not not so much. But yes, I'm going to walk you through what you do right now. So we're going to go back to our ship. How do you go back? Can you just go back to the ship like... No, that's not how you do it. That's taking me all back to Alpha Centauri. Good thing I did not press anything there. Whoops. How do you go back to your ship? I can't remember. I think you just, go, you just have to go like this and... Fast travel? Why do you fast travel? Oh, there you go. It's been so long since I've played this game. <laughs> for you guys, it's seamless. It's just like another week in the schedule. But for me, it's been three, four weeks since I've streamed Starfield. A very, very long time. Um, but yes, this is the start of our Christmas streams and Christmas videos. So over the next four to five, six weeks, you'll see me with my little Santa hat on. So even after Christmas into the new year, 
you'll see me with the Santa hat on. Just the way we do things, we prove it all. So, like I said, first thing you want to do is, is, is sleep. So we're going to board the ship, we're going to sleep on the shield breaker. Get some nap time in. Uh, Barrett, it's, it's so funny because I've literally just, in, in, in real time, I've just posted the video with with Barrett. I rescued him, him joining the crew. It's, 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 fun. it's funny how things are working out with um, things. When you catch up, it's funny. For someone who pre-records all the time, right? So there's a bit. I don't know why I can never sleep in that bed. I don't understand it. It's like it doesn't make sense, right? So I think you only need to sleep for like a minimum of an hour or ten hours. It was, it's definitely one or ten. <laughs> I just remember a one being there. We're gonna do ten hours, and hopefully that gives us the bonus. Did we get? Yeah, you're awake and feeling well rested. So you see that in the right hand corner. Whenever it says that, you get that 10% XP bonus, right? Next thing you want to do is obviously you want to leave the ship. Every world with living things is a treasure. But we're about to slaughter a whole heap of living things. <laughs> Hello, greetings. Now you see this planet. There's 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 two main types of enemies on this planet. You got you got these like flying things that you have to shoot, and you got the ground ones that you have to stab. Or slash. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do the stabbing and slashing. It takes a bit longer, but it's less resource consuming. Like I said earlier, bullets are a finite resource. Last thing you wanna do is waste all your bullets leveling up. Uh, I really want a pack of things to fight, but this will do. And now very easy. This thing does little to no damage to me, and I get 113 XP. These are the guys you wanna kill. So these spiders are running in and chasing these guys, but these guys are actually very simple to kill on the level we're at. And they do a hell of a lot of XP. Why is he in the ground? Oh, well, you're dead. Quite too. Ow. 34. Another thing is, you just have to hit animals once, and you're companion if, you, if they kill them. And then they can use the superpower to float. Of course, use the superpower. Don't forget about that. Where it is? 14 XP. Right. Where did the rest of the big heavy hitters run off to? There they are. So these guys, these guys are worth quite a bit of XP and they can't really kill you. Right. 103 XP. See, we're getting stupid amounts of XP. Now I'm taking some damage as you can see there, so you do want to be careful. So these guys are probably the heaviest hitters on this planet. But they normally run rather than do much. Oh, he was only level 1. Bless him. Where are you running? Where are you running? What's the... Let us see what wonders of life this planet hosts. We're about to slaughter wonders of life this planet hosts. Seventy XP. These guys. So you get you can see the average is like seventy to one hundred and something XP for those guys. The average for these ones are twenty five to one hundred and something. Um, these little guys just give one. Oh, there's more of them. More to kill. Oof, but they do hit hard. I can't even cap it. One hundred and three. But they are also. Oh, they're not immune to my to power. I just missed. Tarenta. Wanna heal? Just, <laughs> the last thing I wanna do is die while I start to show off how simple this is. But you can see that if this was not very easy, you'd get slaughtered. Level 70 creatures and stuff. It's not it's no joke, it's nothing to scoff at. <laughs> That's for certain. But yeah, this is this is the planet of Strix, and this is where you can level up. But it is. Like I said, recommended sword one, but Every planet has different biomes, as you know. So if you, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Service map, not service map, I'm being stupid now. L. So if you start pointing your map all over the place, you'll see this stuff, it starts saying what the environment, you got craters, you got mountains, and where are we currently? Where are we? 
we are in Mount. Are we in a mountainous region? Because no, we're in a sandy desert. So sandy desert is where you'll find the tall guys, the grasshoppers, the stuff that you want to like. Stabby stabby. Over here is it volcanic. No, that's not what I want. I want. Is it this area? Frozen. I don't think it's frozen mountains either. I think it is volcanic. We're gonna go over to Volcanic. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've, I've, like I said, it's been a while since I've even played this game, let alone streamed it. So I, I might have forgotten a, a trick or two about where shit is. <laughs> I can't lie. I'm level 41. I can't remember what level I was when you guys left me. I think I was 30 something, 37, 38. So living up still takes a lot of time, but it's better than. What the heck? Why are we stuck underneath the ship? Right, yeah, so Volcanic area. This is where the flying guys are. Now, I did level up faster killing these guys, so if anyone knows a way to get bullets quickly, um, then yeah, come here. Where are they all? Now, the game has been updated since I last played, so is that changing the number of creatures that are in the air? No, it's not. There they all are. But then there's these guys. Now, obviously, I can't kill them with sword. I'm going to need to shoot them with sword. Uh, trying to figure out what bullets I don't want to have the most of that I don't want to waste. Uh, we'll do it with this. We're only doing one of them. Right, so. Uh, these guys obviously they're far away. So you just got, but you only got to get one of them. What's that noise? Oh, you gotta watch out for these guys on the ground. These guys really do hurt and it, they, they, they kill. You don't really see them. They do, they, they only were from 27 to, to 90 something. Oh, we leveled up. Great, great show. These guys range from what, 24 XP to 100 and something XP. We gotta watch out for the ones on the ground. Is the slugs because they come out of nowhere and they're hard to see. You just can't talk to the but they're worth quite the bit of XP, I can't lie. Once you shoot the balloons, it's almost like they pop. Alright, get 51. You see, you do get a lot more XP quicker, but with bullets, unless I figure out a way to get more than the bullets I've got, it's a finite resource. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the level of... Oh, same gun. What gun? Alright. Why is the... E I know it's not got the... Has it not got the range? No, it does. And it's not... Oh my god, this gun is so inaccurate. Alright, there we go. There we go. Another one. one Who are you shooting? Where is she? And who's she shooting? Oh shit, we're, we're surrounded? You get quite a bit of XP, but these guys do surround you and they don't make noise. So they do... I don't even know where she's at right now. There she is. No. Damn it. Thing is, if you let your companion kill all of them quickly, you will get an XP for your troubles. So the best thing to do is hit like every one of them at least once. And then that way, if your companion kills all of them, you'll be all right. But these guys do swarm. They do swarm. And it does cause a bit of panic. I'd say these guys are the probably the easiest ones to fight though, even though they do swarm. Even on like if you want to leave it on a higher difficulty, you could probably manage it. Obviously the the tougher ones would probably take a lot more bullets, which is why you don't want to leave it on not easy. But you still get the same XP. And because as we slept, you get 10% extra bonus. 
So remember, take all these XP bonuses with a pinch of salt because it's like 10 or 5% would well rested, isn't it? Alright. Well, yeah. That's clearing that up. As you can see, these guys do yield a lot more XP. It's a lot more effective. Uh, what do we want to do? we got skill points. Skill points. Alright. Uh, what's dueling? You know what? I, I think I wasted dueling. You know? I don't think you need to do it. Oh, heal. Melee kills temple. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. I didn't waste none. Got to kill a hundred animals or a hundred things with thingy now. So yeah, as you can see, this is an effective method to level up. Who's she shooting? Oh, someone already shot. I thought it was a person then. That is creepy. That's a creepy looking thing. I thought it was a person sat with like stood there with a hat on, like just staring at us. Was like, oh, I see you there, sir. I see you. <laughs> Right then, I hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope it was informative, but I'm going to leave it there for the first episode of our Christmas run. We've got, obviously, the three Diablo videos you've just seen, I hope you enjoyed them. If you've not checked them out, do check them out here on the channel. Do that by hitting that bell notification, keep it there every here on the channel. Of course, if you did like this particular video, do like, comment and subscribe down below, as well as hitting that bell notification, keep it there every here on some players. Check links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, since the vlogs, since the .com, and of course, my Twitch, since the underscore plays at 13. We catch all this gameplay live. Don't follow to see when I'm streaming, what I'm streaming, and of course, don't forget, you can subscribe to support me financially as a streamer if you wish to. Now, I just want to say, you guys are fucking awesome. We got 25,000 subscribers at the point of recording this video and streaming it live. God knows what we're on by the time it comes out, which will be next week, so it shouldn't be much more than 25, maybe it'll be 26, I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. All to you. Um, but yeah, the support over the last uh, month and a bit has been insane. I just, wow. Yeah, you guys are incredible. So I just want to love you and leave you. And hopefully you'll join me tomorrow for more Starfield. But until then, peace.